It's the red and white clad Cod Army on Fleetwood Town. It will be decided tonight. Box. That well, was a poor finish, actually, Derek. Really, from what? Four yards at most. It's Bonds in Gala. Himself into a spot of bother. Well, Jamie Vardy knows it's an important occasion for him, as it is for all the Fleetwood players. Jamie Vardy scored nine goals in his last nine games. He has been watched in recent weeks by scouts from a host of clubs. But actually, down the right-hand side, they got, got a lot of joy for Fleetwood in the first game. The, the quality in the end ball wasn't great, though. Generally. And a free journey. Thanks to Andy Pilly, the chairman. Oh, that's a nice touch, isn't it? It's Vardy shuffling. Oh, it was so near. It's up here, there were two strikers in the first game. A uh, little bit of change of shape. And Gala's going to do better. He is going to stop the cross. He doesn't. That's a great ball in. And quite frankly, that should be, well, not the opening goal, because McLean should have scored at the other end. Attempts at getting here, certainly I saw almost every weather condition on the way down. Where it comes from good old slipping and sliding. Shout for a penalty kick when the ball came in, Vardy. Just went over. Oh, look at him there. He's getting marked as a little. Now both slip, I think. He had a look at the ref. Shoot for handball as Maguire drove it against Clifford. Right, another chance here for the visit. Came into this game seeking. Success of clean sheets for the first time since January. It's fallen by the wayside. Vardy trying to hit the byline. And down he goes. Onto the corner. Not getting any sympathy from referee James Adcock. Yeah, it was Huntington here just getting himself back in. That's where they want Vardy, just in that little channel. Turning the centre halves, getting them facing their own goal because he's quick. In all fairness, the centre half did quite well there, but he looks sharp. Didn't know too much about it. Celebrated the goal he scored with him in the first match at Highbury. His first senior goal. Now, that's Huntington and Gallagher can't handle. Now, there wasn't a great deal of intent there, but... Chilly night, raw, damp. The Fleetwood player, natural leader. And Gala, just a bit casual. Mangan, that was cleverly done. Andy Mangan, beaten on the ground. I think there's a bit of a. a I think he's. Just I think he's. Yeah, I think he's trodden on Derek. Uh, well, he seems to be holding his head. Yeah. It's, well, it looks like Huntington just got stepped. Up. Vardy battles on. Well, Mickey Mellon will tell you all about the importance of Jamie Vardy. Was there any intent? It'd been the main hunting team was the player who was involved only five minutes earlier with a potential elbow. Now Mangan's pass for Vardy, and again Stewart is forced into urgent action. Quick fire stuff from Fleetwood. He's got to go. Second that's... yellow card earlier, but this time. The decision is taken, two yellows. Whether there's any intent or not doesn't matter. He knows he shouldn't get this tight to the player. And in many ways, he just throws his leg into him there. But he gets across him and he, sh he should not get this close. There's no need, he's not. Now can Fleetwood capitalise on their numerical superiority? The pass by Briggs to Bardi. everything has gone over there. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about Twitter. Those people that go on Twitter got Chris Foy mixed up with Chris Hoy. That says it all. Here's Vardy. Trying to unbalance Huntington. And is it going to be the second? Well, might have wrapped it up here. Great play from Vardy there. Just go on. Somebody get on the end of that. I've got to say, I thought Ailey explained the genesis of the so called transfer. Terry Skiverton asked Yeovil fans on Twitter who they might want to sign. Oh, it's Vardy inside the box here. 
Vardy with the missed kick. Mangan. Well, they won't want to be ruined chances at the end of this game. And this is certainly what you call one out and nothing. Ailing lets it drop, you can't do that, and that's a complete missed kick. I think looking at... ...by Aimer for Yeovil. That was something of an off-break. It comes to Vardy. Oh, and just wide. Jamie Vardy. Yeah, he had no real back left here, Vardy. He had, he had an option out to his right, but I think he's got his head down. He's only got one thing in his mind. And great feet initially just to shift it. Pastor scored two goals in his previous four games. For Peter Till. Well, that wasn't too clever. Kavanagh. Now Vardy. He goes down, looks for the free kick. He's allowed to go to Horton Tackle, it was from Goodall. Vardy. Now, what can Vardy do here? Zigzagging his way forward, and Jamie Vardy! He's finished it as a contest! Vardy for Fleetwood! The Cod Army are going to the third round for the very first time! Well, they've been looking for Fardy on that one and one for the last, last 15 or 20 minutes. And eventually they find the pass to get him at Huntington here. Yovo pushing forward, looking for the equaliser. Now he knows he's got the pace in the centre half. He knows Huntington's been booked as well. So he's, he's unlikely to risk a challenge, as late as it is. And past to me goes, a little shimmy to the right, drives it to the left, he's too quick. Gets a little bit of luck, keep us unlucky. But on this occasion, Fleetwood get the luck. And Fleetwood, it looks like, will be heading into that third round to play Blackpool. Success in this match in comparison with the first game. Fleetwood Town of the conference. And well, they might be in again. Vardy might be in again. Tries to mop up in the last few seconds. And the advantage with Fleetwood, Vardy. The Cod Army. Fleetwood have dropped anchor in the third round of the FA Cup for the first time in their history. What a story. Jamie Vardy's moment.